They have some dried bugs and worms, which we've had before. This is considered a spider donut. It's literally a battered and deep fried spider. Oh no. What's up guys, it's Dwayne back again for another video, back in for the reaction of today's a great, wonderful, beautiful, amazing day because it's a Sweden day. Top things to do in Malmo, Sweden. Without further ado, let's get into this reaction. Let's go. Malmo. Down the hatch. It, the, 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 <laughs> tastes like garlic feet. Good morning, adventurers. Good morning. From a windy day here in Malmo, <laughs> Sweden. It's so windy. Yeah, we found like the one corner that wasn't a wind tunnel like everywhere else in the city right now. Yeah, but other than that, it is a lovely day. The yes. sun is mostly shining and the weather, as you can see, it's very warm here, which is awesome. Today, we're gonna be exploring we'll the city a little summer. bit, taking you guys along with us. The city is super classy, has some amazing architecture, tons of stuff to do. And actually, first up, we're gonna be heading to the Malmo wow. Salu, Salu Hall. Salu Hall or Salu Hall? Salu Hall? Well, whatever it is, it's right back here, and we're going to be heading in in just a minute. It's this amazing indoor market with all sorts of food options, so mm -hmm. that's where we're going to start our day. But before we pop in there, we thought we'd tell you a little bit about Malmo. It is located in the very south in Sweden. It is right across the water ah, from... Malmo. So Malmo, that's the area where people speak in, like, a Danish accent, right? Because it's so close to Denmark. I think in the south, that's what it's like. Copenhagen and there was actually a bridge that connected Malmo and Copenhagen in the 90s uh, so now you can yeah. easily get across about 30 minutes which is what we did to get here yesterday. You might You're like the Danish Swedes. That's <laughs> for the rest of people in Sweden always say that people in Malmo. Do I have any subscribers from Malmo? Hello. I'm very fascinated about your by your city because you're so close to Denmark that your Swedish voice sounds a bit different. You might already know about this bridge if you've seen the show The Bridge, which is on some network. I don't know because I've never seen the show, <laughs> but I only re recently realized that it's about the bridge that connects Copenhagen to Malmo. Wasn't there a murder on the bridge? Something like that. Ooh. I don't want to spoil it. Go watch it. I hear it's a really good show. <laughs> All right, enough chatting. We're going to go eat. Hall sits in a really old warehouse from the 1800s and I guess it was empty since the 50s and then around 2014 they decided to turn it into this food hall and then I think it officially opened in 2016 so it's one of the newer food halls we've been to it's only been around for a few years but it is a super classy joint and the smells of food are so good and now begins the hardest task of all deciding what to eat we've just been moseying around the market trying to make the hard decision, as Allison mentioned, of what to eat. The hardest. The hardest, <laughs> yes. We actually found a little uh, cafe that they have right here where they were making some delicious looking drinks. So we decided to get a couple uh, cappuccinos. Cool. It's nice and warm and delicious. There's actually a noodle place right over here that I think we've settled on. So we're gonna drink these, take noodle our time, place. enjoy ourselves, and then I think we're- So these guys have gone to Sweden and they're eating noodles. I get it. They're just going to places that look nice and gonna have food. But I don't know, you're in Sweden, you wanna try Swedish food. Maybe they've already tried Swedish food in a different video, I don't know. But um, yeah, noodles. I think we're going to order some noodles right over there. Holy cow. <laughs> Made it to kind of the older part of town, I guess, wow. in this open square. And let me just tell you, wow, the architecture—stunning, very, very beautiful. 
Malamo, I might uh, be visiting you. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you think? It turned super European in here. Everything's really old and well preserved. There's yeah. a bunch of outdoor cafes. Everyone's out and about. I yeah, love stone it. streets. I know. It's very cool. Also, the architecture in this town is amazing. There's so many modern building styles, modern uh, art pieces, I but then you have all that. this older style. I love, I love, that's very European in general, like all European cities really, where you have that contrast of very old architecture and then new buildings like side by side you find that a lot in europe and 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 to be honest in a lot of other countries it's not like that um especially if, if you go to asia you do the only thing you get that's old is kind of temples um like in thailand in bangkok it's all a lot of it is new but in in europe there's a lot of the older buildings are still standing and i just i love that kind of contrast it's style so nice. as well like in the square yeah Very it's cool. a lot of the old and new right next to each other which is really neat to see when you think of swedish design i'm sure a lot of you think of ikea but there is so much IKEA. more to swedish design than that and we're going to head to the form design center right now they should have exhibits about uh, different types of design architecture all kinds of stuff so we're gonna learn a little bit more go a little bit more in depth yes. than just going to ikea <laughs> and the best part is it's free to go here yes it is and here we have the new fall trend safety pins and beadwork. Apparently the artist created a collection of 21 garments, I think made solely out of safety pins and beads. Wow. It says it took her 7,000 hours to complete. Oh my word. I really wish that you could try this on because I want to know how heavy it is. It's got to be so heavy. It can't be that comfortable, right? Like what if you I'm guessing not. fell with the <laughs> oh, <yeah>. owl open? <laughs> oh geez. Can you guys guess what this is? I got it Whoa. first try. Tell the people what it is. It's the placenta. Snake? It's called flesh and blood. It's called what? Uh, flesh and blood. There you go. This is our new couch, you guys. What do you think? <laughs> so We're going for like... I find architecture and art very interesting because it's just very... This is very abstract art, um, architecture. And it's just like, who decides what looks good and what doesn't? I'm just It just gets lost on me. Um, but it's creative. It's very creative the most comfortable possible that's the yeah. main thing for us well the best part is you can sit on it any way you want right? it's the ultimate comfort this is, true. This is called lobster <laughs> <laughs> There's some kind of huge festival going on downtown. I think it's just called Malmo Festival or Malmo Festivalen. Festivalen, yeah, there we go. Exactly. As you can tell by the screams, everyone's having a lot of fun. Yeah, they have all kinds of rides set up and there's a big stage in the middle of town and I think maybe that's why a lot of the vendors are out and about. And there's yeah. all sorts of stuff going on in this city. It's crazy. Man, this town is bumping. Yeah. I love it. Well, so far we have had a very pleasant and delicious day here in Malmo. And right now we're about to completely turn that upside down and get really disgusting at the Disgusting Food Museum. Disgusting Food Museum. Ah. So we are about to... What is going on? <laughs> Was that maggots inside of cheese? Real maggots. Oh my god, what is this about? You begin perusing around the museum, and when you come, Oops. Um, they give you your ticket in form of a barf bag. <laughs> because as we learned, some people barf when they yeah, come here. They actually throw up, so they actually use these. <laughs> oh my god, not one day not since today. last woman. Hopefully. Why is it moving? Guys, why is it moving? Why is it moving? Ugh. Hopefully. Fermented horse milk. Haggis! Haggis. I mean, yeah, that's from Scotland. I mean, it is a pig stomach. Um, 
with it with stuff inside. I've never tried haggis, but yeah, it's pretty disgusting. Sheep eyeball juice from Mongolia. So when you come here, you might be wondering why there are jars full of cotton balls around. Well, that's so that you can get a nice whiff of what you're reading about. This one happens to be Sir Stroming. Sir Stroming? It oh, so says strumming. it's one of the worst smelling foods in the world. It's from right here in Sweden. Sweden. Do I have to smell it now? Or sorry, oh, strong geez. fish, right? I really don't want to. Oh no. I'm really nervous about this. And because people throw up, I don't want to throw up. Oh, wow. I can smell it from here. Holy cow. I can't. <laughs> oh no. Ooh. Okay. That's rotten fish. That's rotten fish out in the sun for days and weeks and maybe years. Nom nom nom. And people eat that. It's a delicacy. You put it on bread. But you eat it outside. Like durian, I guess. Because it is very pungent. So. Like durian. Thailand. Uh, disgusting. I've had that. Oh, open air. Okay. Alright. All right. Onward. Inside here is the Stinking Bishop, also known as Britain's Smelliest Cheese. Who? What? Inside here is the Stinking... Britain's Smelliest Cheese. I've never smelt this cheese. I'm from Britain, so this is interesting. Bishop, also known as Britain's Smelliest Cheese. <laughs> it says here that it has the smell of a rugby club changing room. I've been in many of those, uh. so I'm going to put this to the test right now. I think it's scarier than eating it. Yeah, it is. <laughs> smells like these? ass. Oh my god. That's horrible. Whew. All right. Onward. <laughs> Step right up and get your fresh Hugo de Rana. What is that, you ask? Well, it's simple. You take these frogs, you put them in that blender, you put some quail egg in there, some of these powders, you blend it up, strain it, and then you drink it. You drink the nice green frog pulp that's left. <laughs> Delicious on a hot oh. summer day. And. It's great for... Guess. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, yeah. Strong like bull. Anal gland of a beaver. Ooh. <laughs> That's the stark... Yeah. Word. Anal gland of a... Why do we do this around the world? We eat all these strange foods. I think every country has, like, a really weird food, which is, like, normally part of a body that you would think you wouldn't eat of an animal. Or drink. It's weird. Yeah. Great. Amazing. There. They use it in Givenchy perfumes, Chanel perfumes. People don't know it. You can smell it. 70% alcohol. It's been fermenting here for about eight months. Okay. It was completely visible. Look at the color Whoa, now. I can smell it already. Yeah. Yeah, it smells Ooh. good. It smells good. It's it smells not that like, bad. Yeah, it's oh, just like very medicine strong. It does. It does have the, the essence of perfume. It almost it's smells like a Vicks vapor rub. Do you know yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah. As if that wasn't funny enough, at the end of your tour, you can try all the things, or a lot of the things that you saw. Yay! <laughs> I'm not feeling very brave today, so... <laughs> I don't know. I, I will say we have eaten quite a few things up here. They have some dried bugs and worms, which we've had before. This is considered a spider donut. It's literally a battered and deep-fried spider. Oh, no. Would you try that, guys? <laughs> Me? I don't know if I would try a spider in butter. I just don't think... I don't I just I just don't think I would want to try it. Why? Why would you do that? Oh. Not that bad? Oh, it's not good. They have Never the fermented good. shark which we've had? Yes. Oh. It doesn't smell good. It's interesting. <laughs> I wouldn't say it tastes good. No. But, but not it, as bad as you thought. It tastes better than it smells. Fermented Root beer, because we grew up on it. <laughs> uh durian, I tried that before. Yeah, I mean, I've tried it. It's not nice. Oh my god, that's so weird. It looks this way because it's not supposed to be eaten. It's mean <laughs> because it doesn't want you to get to what's inside. But, but uh, she's just stalling because she's thinking about trying this stinking bishop stinking <laughs> yeah, that bishop. I smelled earlier. Oh, it smells so like... So this, this was described as a rugby team's locker room or something? Oh, it smells like straight up toe British jam. Cheese. Oh. Right. Down the hatch. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, tastes like garlic feet. Yeah, for a second, oh. I was excited. I thought you were gonna it, like the, it. The, in <laughs> the initial taste was okay. Oh, it's getting more and more feety and rugby locker roomy. 
Quick, drink some sauerkraut juice oh, God. <laughs> to wash it down. Okay, I'm gonna drink some root beer instead. I think the only thing that I'm bold enough to try today is the salt licorice, and I think it's going to be truly awful. Oh, that's from uh, Finland, right? Salt licorice, I think. There you have it. Really salty, huh? Dude, it's covered in salt. I am not a fan of licorice, but it's not like it's the worst thing I've ever tasted. Well, there's a trash can right here if I need for when I need to spit it out. No, I gotta eat the whole thing. Right? I don't know. It's like eating baking soda. That's edible. It's the saltiest thing I've ever tasted. No, not for me. I hate licorice. Anyone who's been watching this channel knows I absolutely hate licorice. And licorice rolled in salt? I can't think of anything worse. Oh my god. No. no. <laughs> oh god, jeez. That was saltier than anything I've ever had in my mouth. Really? Oh my god. I think we have done enough damage. <laughs> Let's get. <laughs> um, I'll probably visit that museum because it's quite fun. Get more familiar with the city and to see a lot of it really quickly is to do a boat sightseeing tour. Oh. So that is what we're that doing. That's what we're doing. And so far, it is lovely. But uh, I think we're just going to cruise around the canal for about an hour and then they're going to take us right back. It's going to be sweet. Very the boat tour was amazing. It was too loud to really talk on the boat though, <laughs> but we learned all about Malmo. We got to see all kinds of architecture and castles and they told us the history of it. Mm -hmm. That's why we love doing those tours. You know, you yeah. always learn so much more about the you city. You get to see all the different parts of the city. We went out to the Western. I'd love to do a boat tour. I'm gonna definitely do a boat tour when I come to Sweden. Don't know if it'd be in Malmo, it might be in, Hels in I'm gonna say Helsinki, that's Finland. It could be in Stockholm. Um, yeah, we'll see. Harbor, which is actually where we're staying. We went through parks, we saw windmills, it was awesome. We went under 22 different bridges. I think so 22. many bridges over 22. that canal, it's crazy. Yeah. But to end the day, we're doing what we do best. <laughs> we came to a pop-up beer market. It's called a Mikeller. Mikeller? I'm sure I'm saying that horribly. But oh, yeah. they uh, make their own beers. I feel like I've had their yeah, it sounds familiar before. anyway. Maybe. It's neat. It's in the middle of this park, which actually we were just chatting with a local here and he was saying it translates to the People's Park. People's Park. Yeah. It's a huge park and it's very happening. There were all kinds of things going on. Everyone out in the grass, families running around. And then this little area has... It looks like summer is definitely the best time to come to, to Sweden because it just seems like a lot's going on. I see why, why everyone's been like come in the summer come in the summer and i've been like no i want to come in the winter i want to come when it's winter time but actually summer might be a better time to come to to, to sweden as of course here but they yeah. also have some barbecue cooking over there which i think we'll get in on in a little yes, bit yes we will it'll be really interesting to try swedish barbecue that's gonna be cool i went with i think the beer lover burger Look at that, there's some barbecue sauce, a fresh beef patty, you could also do a vegan patty, some pickled uh, onions on there, some peppers, some coleslaw, beautiful. A burger is great and all, but Eric went with this beautiful smoked brisket, so I feel like you should try it and let us know what you think. Oh, look how good. beautiful. Okay, I'll trade you. We got a quadruple decker brisket sandwich over here, and there's smoked cream cheese on the bottom, and then a bunch of barbecue sauce. Uh, he picked very well spilling out there. I was not expecting that we were going to get barbecue today here in Malmo. <laughs> I'm pretty excited about it. That's my target right there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh shit. Oh no. <laughs> Picking all the beef Oof. with him. <laughs> a very big bite. <laughs> That's good. Jeez. Ignore that gluttonous horrible bite that I just took. <laughs> and just pay attention to the sweet delicious barbecue. <laughs> the brisket is absolutely delicious. Uh, it's super tender, lots of flavor, but the star of this is that smoked cream cheese. Oh my God. It's not even overly sweet like I thought it was gonna be. It's just really subtle and buttery and smoky, you know? It's really good. 
It's actually delicious, guys. <laughs> this is great. Mm. Mm. She already tasted her burger. Oh, and it was good. But now she's gonna compare it to the brisket. Okay. <laughs> You're I love how immediately losers. it goes in your mouth and you know that it's the best. <laughs> I chose poorly. The burger's phenomenal. But <laughs> your hand has barbecue sauce all the time. <laughs> the burger is. I need to go to this place because the food's great. The music's great. It's very loud, but like I've heard so far, a lot of music I like. So phenomenal. Uh, as you can see by the barbecue sauce dripping down my hand, <laughs> but that brisket, ooh wee, it's smoky and delicious. Well, it's obviously getting uh, very messy in here, so I think this is a good point to end today. Yeah. It's Malmo, I'm coming to you. I'm definitely coming to you. It makes sense because you link yourself to Denmark and you know, if I'm in Malmo, I probably will end up going to Copenhagen because they're so close together. And yeah, awesome. I, I'm i just excited for when I'm, and I think I'm feeling a little bit more, I'm warming, warming, that's what I did there. I'm warming to the idea of coming to Sweden in the summer because it just seems like there's a lot to do in the summer. However, there's also a lot of cool things in the winter. Christmas looks quite magical in Scandinavia. So we'll see. We'll see, guys. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Until the next one, I will see you very soon.